welcome to this lecture so from next lecture onward we'll start our hacking course but before that we need to install two machines and first one here will be Kali Linux and the next one will be our testing machine which will be Windows 10 so Kali Linux is a one type of uh, Linux uh, software or so basically a Linux operating system where you will have all the modules and application pre-installed so that we did not have to configure it manually so it is very important machine where you can just run your code directly you can just make the payload you can run your handler in order to listen for that communication and you can do a lot of stuff with the Kali Linux we'll test each of these application that is available in the Kali Linux obviously not all but the main important part which will be essential for the hackers so we'll just learn every bit of detail in the upcoming lecture with the help of Kali Linux which will be our running server running processes or basically the machine where we'll run our code and basically we'll test that in the testing machine and the testing machine will be our Windows 10 so before that we have this machine which is obviously my main machine so I have here that is Windows 10 but I don't want to just run every malware or basically every backdoor in my Windows 10 because I don't want to affect my original machine so this is your machine so basically it can be your original machine you can have it Mac as a Mac machine or you can have the Linux or Windows so first of all what you need to do is make sure that this machine is safe because we don't want to do anything with this machine so in order to make that another computer installed on the same computer and if you install any machines or basically any application this won't get affected we have this virtual box so what this virtual box is basically you have the computer installed inside the computer so we have this main machine and inside this main machine you can see a lot of operating system is downloaded and run so in this case i have this kali linux running and ms windows 10 running and you can see right here inside this we have running this kali linux and you can run this kali linux over here and the next one i have here is ms 10 so we have this windows 10 and the kali linux inside this my main computer so in order to make sure that our main machine is not affected with any installation or running any program you will use this virtual box so first of all download that virtual box and install it properly so it is a simple process and i'm not going to do it because it is a very simple you can just download according to your operating system if it is for mac just download for mac and if it is in the windows just download for the windows and just unzip it and do everything that is required to install any program so it is pretty much a simple process so next thing what you need to do is install the machines so first machine that we want to install is kali linux so i'll just go to the browser and this is the kali original documentation page and you can see here is a download section you can simply go to the download kali machine and you'll just go here in the download section you'll just click on this download kali linux and you'll just get these images over here and i highly suggest you not to download this light version because this does not give all the application that we are using in this course so you have to give extra time if you just download this one because you have to download every packages manually so that will just cost you a more time and more effort than before so i'll just highly suggest you download this version which is kali linux 64 bit you can go with the torrent or you can go with this http link and install it basically what this give is a iso image so you'll just have the iso image and after that you will just uh, see that there will be some iso image right here so let me just show you one here so you will have something like this so this is the iso image so if i just open the properties you will see this is the iso image right here dix image file so you will just get this file while you download this from the kali linux and make sure you just go with this kali linux 64 bit or kali linux 32 bit but don't go with this light version so we have downloaded now the kali linux image which will be our server machine or where we'll just write some code or use the application and the testing machine will be our windows 10 so just go to this website that is developer.microsoft.com 
you'll just get this website where you can download the virtual machine so you could wonder that we can also download directly the windows 10 so why not to download that so it is also a good idea to download windows 10 but that requires the installation process so you have to go through in entire installation process if you download that file but if you download this virtual machine you don't need to go through that installation process so it will just directly open you the machine on your virtual box so next thing what you need to do is just go over here that is saying ms ads on windows 10 and select the platform and our platform is virtual box so let's select download zip unzip that file you'll just get this file saying open virtual and it is file over here and you could see this is ova file so this will be your open virtualization format form or basically it will be archive and we have to now just install that in the virtual box so first thing or basically what you need to do first is install the kali linux so open your virtual machine this should be empty for you because you will be at the first step of installation but i have already installed so much of machine over here so let me create new over here and if i go to here and i'll just say kali new you can also give the name as kali and the linux is the version or a type basically and the version i want to hear is debian 64 bit and click next and just allocate the memory or basically it is for the ram and let me say i want to give 4 4 gb ram would be enough even 2 gb would be enough so let's click next and create and I want VirtualBox Dix image. Click next and dynamically allocated. Next, and this is the file size that we want to give. So uh, just make sure it is greater than 20 GB because we have to install so much of applications and new packages. So make sure it is around uh, maybe 30. So that would be fine. If you just make sure it is around 30, let's create now and now we have this kali linux or basically kali new so next thing what you need to go do is go to the setting and on the system go to the processor and make sure we have this processor let me say i want the fourth processor to make sure that it does not lag and go to the storage now and here we have this empty that is showing the dicks let's click on that and now let's boot that so i'll just say choose virtual and we'll just go to here that is on zip and we have this kali linux right here so let's click that and you will just see that we have now kali linux let's press ok and now we'll just have this kali new so next thing what you need to do is simply press on this start and let it give some time so after you just uh, grab that it will just open this virtual box and now it's time to install this Kali so go to the install over here let's please press enter and let it give a time to load and everything and let's wait for some time so before that I want also to install okay it has already come up so let me press English and United States American English and this will just load some of the additional components let's wait for some time so in the meantime you can also do something that is install this ms ads so this is, has not the same process as to install the kali linux you don't need to create anything new you can simply go over here and just double click so if i just double click then okay this is basically i have already installed this version so it has given me error but in your case it will give something like this information so you could see the information right here that is saying that you have the name over there you have the guest os type cpu you want to allocate the ram you want to allocate and dvd sound kind and everything that is information over here and let's press only on the import now if i press import it is going to take some time to import that and you will just get over here so before that let's go to our kali version and let's see we have right here so in the kali version you can clearly see now it has asked to write the host name so why i just did this because we are just installing two machine at the same time so it is very easy to install this windows 10 because you can simply click that is just press over here and it is going to import the setting but in the case of kali it is not possible you have to do everything manually so i have shown you over here 
so only the process in the windows 10 is basically only importing so there is nothing to worry about but in the kali let's go over here and click the host name so this will be host name and i am just sticking with the kali and domain name let me say empty and now password so it is very important because whenever you want to log in for the first time it is also going to ask your root password so make sure you just remember that password every time you just enter to the kali machine so let me hit my password let's hit enter it is going to give us the new prompt to re-enter the password the same password and let's hit enter one more time and now it is going to set up a clock so let me say eastern and now let's wait for some time again and it is going to load uh, an additional configuration for us so and now it has a set of the disk partition and we have also already partitioned the disk that should be around 34 gb or make sure that it is greater than 30 gb because we need to install so much of application manually also in the upcoming lecture so i'll just stick with this guided version and let's enter here and i'll just say all file and now i'll just finish the partitioning and write changes to disk and i'll just say yes i want to change or basically write changes to dex and now it has a partition the formatting or do something like that and now it is installing the system so now it will install and you could see we are just over here that is importing for our ms 10 so it will just import so it will just import it is nothing over here it will just take some time maybe around 15 minutes and it will just uh, do something that is uh, install everything over here so next thing what you need to do after the, the, you install that because i have already done it so i am not doing here because if you could see it has blocked everything for us so after you just install maybe for the windows 10 so i'm i'm just going to show you for the kali linux but after you install that version you will get something like this it will show something that is ms 8 windows 10 just make sure you don't cancel that process it will just take around 15 minutes and you'll just get over here saying ms 8 windows 10 and something like this and after that what you need to do is go to the settings and you will see in the storage or basically not in storage it will be in the system you will just get this as base memory and you can just change it and make sure that processor is around 2 because we want uh, nearly some uh, faster processing while in the linux and obviously in the windows too so make sure around it is around 2 and let's press ok and after now what you need to do is simply press on this msr and just press here so in your case it will be start in my case it is so so if i press over here it is going to give us this windows 10 so you could see this is same windows 10 and you can do all of this stuff over here so you can test every bit of code your payload or your hacking skill in this windows 10 without affecting our main window so in, a, in your case it can be your mac or your main linux machine but my case it is windows and inside windows we have this windows which will just be our testing machine and we'll just test all of the code that we learn in the upcoming lecture in this windows machine so make sure that you install this windows machine first and you could see now we have installing this kali linux over here so i'll just pause here and i'll just take you to the good stuff so now after you just install or complete with the installation it will just reboot and just press now kali linux because we want the kali linux and just press show it will first ask you for the password so make sure you just remember the password the same password that we use while installing the system so you had set that password and just remember that password and just press here and you'll just get this kali linux so you could see we have this complete kali linux you can see the interfaces over here it is showing us an application a bunch of application is over here you can see the favorites and everything we'll just learn about this in a detail in the upcoming lecture in the first section we'll just learn about the linux and how this kali linux can be used in the hacking and you can see the bunch of application if i just go to this show application tab it is going to give us this information saying if you want to search something if i 
I say yes I want to source yarn map which is the application over here and if I just press over here it is going to give us this application and so you can just navigate through it we'll see every bit of detail in the upcoming lecture about the directories about the command of this Kali Linux but for now you can just tour around this interface you can see you have these settings over here and here is a bluetooth wi-fi connections and if you just have the external usb make sure you connect that it will just give access to your wi-fi and now you can see in this network or everything so make sure you have now that is let me just open here and let me just press if config so in this case you could see that it is wlan 0 mode so that it means it is in monitor mode so i'll just talk about the monitor and manage mode in the upcoming lecture where we'll just attack some machines a wi-fi network so basically we'll just talk that in the upcoming lecture but for now you can see the two interfaces ethio 0 and wlan 0 mode so make sure first i'll just do something over here that is to stop this wlan 0 mode so that will just get this Wi-Fi connection. So now if I just say I have config, then you'll see now. Okay, I'll just do something more now. Uh, and that is WLAN 0 and up. Now if I say I have config, it is going to give us this WLAN 0. And it is obviously not connected to internet because this has no IP address. But make sure you have either this Ethio 0 or WLAN 0 in order to get internet access on this Firefox. So we'll just learn about that. So first of all, if I just go to the Kali, it is going to give us some information. That means it is connected to internet. So you can just update the package and do everything in the Kali Linux. We'll just learn that in the upcoming lecture. But for now, you can clearly see we have set up this machine where you can just run your code and basically see if that code works or not and next machine we have is obviously our windows 10 and we have shown in the windows 10 you have this microsoft airs is a browser and if i just go over here and let's see if we can run any of these uh, basically our internet or not so you can see obviously we can run because all of the news has been rendered out over here that means we can just get the internet connection so i'll say what is my ip then you will see that the ip address will be just rendered over here so this is my public ip addresses and you could see this machine has the internet access too so now if you want to just give the file basically if you want to get the internet access what we can do is the next one is to have the external usb so you can just get one usb so you can buy online and just get that external usb card you enter that usb card and get access to that usb by these devices and go to the usb in my case i have this usb over here and just press that and you will just get that wireless adapter which will be you can clearly see if I say IF config, it is going to be over here WLAN 0. But if you do not enter that USB adapter, it's fine because you will have anyway the internet connection with this wired connection which is ETO 0 and the wireless connection will be WLAN 0. So what you need to do is if you want to see the Wi-Fi hacking technique, you can have that USB adapter and you can install that manually. So next thing what you need to do is basically we have now set up the two machines. So that's not worry for us. So you have this MS Airs over here which is running. So now if I want to maybe saw that something, let's go over here and uh, let's see what we can do. So this is the all the file and directory that we'll learn in the upcoming lecture. So no need to tell over here in this lecture because in this lecture I want to only show you how this virtual box work and to install some of the machines over here. So we just did something that is install the Kali Linux which will be our server or basically where we'll just run the application. We'll just see how code works or basically making a payload will be with this Kali Linux. And there is MS Edge, which is our Windows 10, where we'll just run our machine. And basically, you can see the new windows are basically the next windows I have done here or installed over here. And now if I just start, this is my original window. So this is same as no, with this windows. 
so what i'm telling is basically we have installed this ms ads from the virtual box so if i just go over here it was downloaded by for the virtual machines so you do not need to install it manually in the case of ms ads you can simply import it and install it and basically you can run directly but if you just download maybe the version that is of windows 10 so actual windows 10 then it is going to give us the installation procedure it will take some time to install it but that's fine you can also use this windows so if i just run this it is a normal windows that is similar to my original window but that uh, is not same as msh because msh does not require the installation process you can simply import it and run it which is perfect for our virtual machines so that will be wrap for this lecture we just installed two machines and that is one the server and the client will just start hacking processes using the Kali machine and Windows machine in the upcoming lecture see you in the next one